Hey everybody, it's Jimmy V here, Versalino type. Welcome back to my channel, this channel dedicated to the veterans and active duty service members across this great nation on how to utilize our VA home loan benefits. Good to go. So today I'm gonna be talking about the VA home loan process and how to get started. A lot of misinformation out there. Veterans, they know of this benefit, but we really don't know how to get out there and deploy it. But before we get started today, if you're interested in learning more about VA home loans in particular, please consider subscribing to this channel. And lastly, if you have a question with respect to how VA loan benefits work, go ahead and drop your question down below in the comment box and I will personally get it answered for you. And lastly, if I've earned it, would you consider showing your love by clicking like on this video? Helps us once again to educate more veterans and active duty service members across this great nation. So let's talk about the VA loan process and how to get started. We as veterans, well, we know that we have this amazing entitlement, but oftentimes we don't know how to use it. As a matter of fact, I remember when I was going through something called TAPS, you guys remember this, right? Where we sit in our theater or whatever the case may be, and they're talking to us at the end of our enlistment about all of our benefits, right? Well, one of the things that they cover is the VA loan, but they really don't go into detail on it. Now, we're gonna talk about the VA home loan process and how to get started. All right, so the first thing that you, as an active duty service member or a veteran, need to know is that there's two particular forms that every single veteran must have on a VA loan. First form, if you're a veteran, DD-214, all right, our discharge paperwork. The lender is going to look on box 24 to ensure that you have been honorably discharged, all right? If you're an active duty service member, disregard, you won't need this, all right? The second, a certificate of eligibility. Now, hear me out on this, veterans, okay? This COE simply states that you're eligible for the VA loan. Doesn't necessarily mean that you're pre-qualified, ready to go out there and put rounds down range, all right? Just means that you're eligible. And as a matter of fact, you can be eligible for a VA loan, but not be pre-qualified. So there's a big difference between the two. So now that you've got your DD-214, now that you've got your COE, now it's time to locate a mortgage lender who specializes in VA loans. And I'll just put pause on that for just a second and tell you a quick story. In the Marine Corps, we're all known as basic riflemen, but in the Marine Corps, we have different MOSs, Military Occupational Services. I was an 0311. You don't want Jimmy V, and I can assure you of this, you don't want me working on electrical equipment on aircraft, even though I'm in the Marine Corps, and even though that job exists in the Marine Corps. And the reason why is, is I haven't been properly trained on that particular job. And in the same breath, you wouldn't want the avionics Marine shooting a Mark 19 or a 240 Golf or an M249 Squad Automatic Weapon. Why? Because we haven't been properly trained on each other's systems. So here's what I'm saying to my veterans. Don't just work with any mortgage lender on a VA loan. You need to find a competent mortgage lender who understands the VA loan process and can help you navigate through that potential minefield that exists in the home buying experience. Good to go? All right, so now that I've said that, you've identified your mortgage lender who you're going to lock arms with, right? Go ahead and put out rounds down range. And what they're going to do is, is you're going to have them, or they're going to have you, excuse me, submit an online loan application. That online loan application is going to allow that lender to review your credit. Credit. Okay, what are your credit scores? They're going to review your income and ensure that the income that you receive on a monthly basis is in line with VA guidelines. And once they do that, they're going to pre-qualify you for a specific amount. That specific amount then becomes your new opportunity or your new kind of benchmark to go out there and identify a home that fits within your budget. The lender will provide you with a copy of something called a certified pre-qualification, okay? It's important, as Dave Ramsey likes to say, when making a buying decision, look for a lender who's going to teach you about your VA home loan benefit, not necessarily sell you on your VA loan benefit. So now that you've identified a purchase price, now that you're pre-qualified, it's time to go out there and start shopping for your new home. Okay? So once you've identified your home, you get under contract on it, you go through the negotiation 
phase, typically it takes about 30 to 45 days start to finish to close on a VA loan transaction. Good to go? So that's a little bit about how the VA loan process works and how to get started. Obtain a copy of your DD-214, your COE. Make sure that you find a mortgage lender who specializes in VA loans and have them lock arms with you to go out there and put rounds down range utilizing your VA loan benefit. For more information, you can contact me direct at jimmy at valoansforvets.com or comment on this video down below and my team and I will make sure to reach out to you. Take care and we'll talk to you soon.